Hey guys, Coach Mike here from CrossFit Psycho. I want to talk about how to finish the snatch. Specifically, when we start getting around those one rep maxes or maybe even PRs that we're going for, what you'll find that happens 90% of the time, you might get that bar right to here and then also it doesn't quite get over into that notch, into that finishing position, and we miss it short. Now that can happen for a multitude of reasons, but I'm just going to teach you one thing that a lot of times can work past those issues and make the difference between that miss and that make. And what that one thing is, is quite simple. I want you to think about trying to miss with that bar backwards and punching harder through the top. Right? Think about the dynamics of what's happening. So at lighter weights, when I'm going for that snatch, I can get a lot of power. Right? I can get that bar way up there. Right? So when I'm going to turn that over, there's already a lot of velocity, so it very easily gets into that overhead position. But what happens is when we get to those heavier weights, we might only be able to pull that bar about right here, so we have to get under that bar quicker, which means it's not gonna be turning over with such velocity. So I simply just wanna punch as hard as I can, and that's gonna help out, right? So I'm pulling under, big, big punch. So one of the things that can actually help you practice that, when we do the burden of warm-up, we do a lot of, in, in part of that, we do muscle snatches, and that really, reinforces that snatch, right? So I'm just gonna start from that high hang. Boom, big punch, right? Big punch. So that's a good little drill that you can use to practice that finish. But next time you're going for that PR and you start missing it, think about just finishing harder by punching towards the roof, pulling back on that bar, trying to miss backwards, I bet you'll hit it.